praise and adoration be to our God, for He is good. His grace and mercy fills the heavens and earth. Let us now come into His presence with love, thanksgiving, and joyfully praise our Creator. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, may your love stir within me. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 23, Comfort. I am a child of God, I shall not want. O Lord, you lead me in paths of righteousness and joy. You feed my soul, you guide me in the ways of life, for you are life. And though I will walk through dark places, and eventually to death, I need never be afraid. For you are with me always. In you I can find comfort. With your help, I can face whatever comes. My joy overflows. Your goodness and blessing will be with me every day of my life and forever. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of Psalms, Psalm 139, verses 1 through 3. You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Merry Christmas, everyone. After four weeks of preparation, he is here He is among us. The Lord has come. Alleluia. I hope all of you have been able to spend time with your family or loved ones this Christmas and have been able to meet Christ in the peace that he offers us this season. As we enter the Christmas octave, now is the time of rejoicing and celebration. And what better way to do that than to reflect today on our Creator and our Redeemer. As the psalm says, the Lord knows us more intimately than we could ever imagine. Better than our parents, better than our friends, better than our spouses, because He is our Creator. Not only that, just yesterday we celebrated the birth of Jesus. And even at Jesus' birth, He knew everything about every one of us who has come, who is here, and who will come in the future. So knowing that God and Jesus know everything about us, our desires, our hopes, our joys, our fears, I think it's a great time to ask ourselves, What do you think Jesus is trying to tell you at this moment of his birth here this Christmas season, right now? Truly, if the psalm says he knows all of us, he knows where you're at right at this very moment. So what does he want you to know at this moment during his coming into the world? When I reflect on this question myself, I think 
For me, I think he wants me to know that I am enough. Jesus was born in the humblest way possible, literally in a barn. The king of the universe, the savior of the world, was born with hay, animals, and probably manure around him. But what's crazy is that's enough for Jesus. That lowly manger is enough. If that's enough for him, I know that I am enough for him too. And so are every one of you. No matter how hard I try and no matter how many times I stumble, if I continue to keep my eyes fixed on him, focusing on that beautiful, helpless, peaceful face of the baby Jesus, and just asking him for everything that he wants to give me. So my friends, what does the Lord want to give you this Christmas? What does he want to make whole? What does he want to purify? What does he want to love? As we continue through this Christmas season, ask yourself and him this question, and don't be afraid of the answer. Let us come together and pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, your birth united things earthly and heavenly. Fill us inward with peace and goodwill, that we may join the heavenly host in singing praises to your glory. May the message of Christmas be a beacon of hope, guiding us to strive for harmony and understanding with one another. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, we pray. Amen. Thank you for praying with us today. May the love of our Heavenly God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you. Amen. Have a day filled with love and happiness, everyone. See you tomorrow and stay blessed.